guys, Mike Chan, my all you can eat adventure here in Singapore continues. This is such a unique place. I'm at a restaurant called 90 Minutes. This is a Korean all you can eat double key hot pot restaurant. The broth, which are located in these pitchers, are poured into the pot. And then they have instructions right here. You mix it with the sauce, which we ordered, spicy volcano sauce. Then you add the rice cakes. Then you can add ramen, meat, and vegetables. You can order a cheese ring, and then you're ready to eat. So it's kind of like a combination of double key and a budo jiga. And then there's a surprise finale at the end as well. First thing I noticed, the drinks are really interesting. They have a peach soda or apple soda, and you get 90 minutes to eat. So let's not waste any time. I think we go up there to grab the food. So you go up there, you don't get anything yourself, they serve it to you, which is pretty hygienic. There's a veggie plate, I asked for a little bit of every vegetable, you get your ramen, there's also an appetizer section, so you get a bunch of fried appetizers. Then the next section is the meat and the rice cakes and the fish cakes. So got some fish cakes and broth. Everything, I guess, goes in to the broth. And we're waiting for a cheese ring as well. Because if you love your hot pot, you gotta put a ring on it. Mmm, peach soda is good. Oh. oh, you can drink peach soda. This place, I'm already starting to really like it, but only problem is you get 90 minutes. Time is of the essence for sure at this place. All right, the food is here, the cheese ring is here. Let's start putting everything in. I'm gonna put the vegetables on the bottom and just let that stew. Let's try out the appetizers first. Fried chicken, eggplant, dumplings, sweet potatoes, meatballs. Mm, good meatball. Could be better in a spicy sauce. There you go. Hmm. Not bad. Korean fried chicken. This is amazing fried chicken. And it's been sitting on my plate for at least 15 minutes. The outside has not lost a single bit of snap. Listen to this. The skin is thin, incredibly crunchy, and so flavorful too. And the inside is juicy as tender. This fried chicken is amazing, even though it has no sauce on there. Oh, I know what's gonna make this even better. So glad I got two pieces. Mm. 
love how incredibly toasty the cheese is. It's all burnt on the top, perfect on top of this crispy fried chicken. So all the vegetables, the rice cakes, everything's been cooking for a while here. And they have a bunch of different types of rice cakes of different colors. So get some veg, get some hot dogs, a little bit of Spam, definitely some ramen. And add in some broth. This thing tastes like a delicious Buddha Jigga. Eat it with some of that burnt cheese, rice cake. Chewy, bouncy, delicious. Sauces is good. Mm. Slurp up the ramen. All that yummy soup. They have so many different types of fish cakes in here and the broth just ties it all together. The broth is spicy, it's a little sweet, very thick, and perfectly soaked up by the instant noodles. This is such a unique Korean hot pot experience and there's so much stuff to dig through because we pretty much put all the vegetables, all the meat into one pot, just let it simmer. So all the flavors from the veg and the meat is all incorporating into the hot pot. Oh, look at that, pork. Belly. Got some beef, some clams as well. This is like an ultimate surf and turf Korean hot pot feast. And the whole thing, it just made so much better with the toasted cheese around it. Good thing about the fish cake, you can cook this for pretty much as long as you want. It's not gonna get soggy on you. Mm. That's so nice. They also give you fish cake on a stick with broth. I almost feel like I'm back in Korea eating fish sticks from a roadside food stall. There's some abalone slices here as well. Radish getting cooked, potato getting all sorts of mushy which is perfect. I think next time for me, I would omit the carrots because it's adding to the sweetness of this thing. I don't need this to be any sweeter. I wish it was so spicier. So we got the best, which is the two pepper signs next to it with volcano sauce. We should have done the spiciest. Some of my favorite ingredients, the abalone slices, the spam is delicious, pork belly, all the different fish cakes, the rice cakes. And this one I love, a little surprise inside. You gotta be careful with this one. This thing, ooey gooey cheese inside. And the rice cake comes in all sorts of different flavors. This is a sweet potato rice cake. Mm. There's actually another all you can eat Korean buffet in Singapore that focuses more on rice cakes. We'll go try that out at some point too, but this place is a winner in my book. Cheese is amazing, ingredients are good, broth is good, and the best part, I'm not even gonna tell you about the best part yet. It's coming up. It's kind of rice cake that pretty much sums up how I feel about this place. So second part of this, when you're almost finished, you can ask them for some rice and they'll make a whole Korean fried rice out of your leftovers. PDG, pretty darn good. Hmm. Kind of tastes like a very thick kanji, full of different textures, different flavors. Got the meat in here, the rice cake, the crunchy sprouts. Also, the rice soaked up all that broth, which in turn soaked up all the ingredients that was in this hot pot. So the rice is fantastic at this point. Hmm. The flavor is so rich, it's so deep. It has a pretty darn good finisher. Also, like I mentioned, the best part about this place, all you can eat hot pot, all you can drink, you get a free bingsu if you leave a review, all for $15.90 Singapore dollars, which is about 11 bucks. There's a pretty darn good deal for that price. You're definitely gonna leave satisfied. What's funny is that the cheese ring is $9, so the cheese ring is so almost the price of the buffet. I recommend getting a cheese ring. So maybe come with multiple people and share yourself a cheese ring. Like Beyonce said, if you like it, you should've put a ring on it. And what better ring than a cheesy ring with corn. Hey, just went home, took a nap, now out for dinner. One thing that amazes me about this country is that it was literally thunderstorming about 30 minutes ago, like full on thunderstorming, and now everything's dry. Like, it's just dry. 
can't tell it's just random. I heard a lot of buzz about this place. Doris's devilishly delicious curry. Remove chili seeds so you can enjoy the taste without hurting your stomach. I like my stomach not to be hurt. It's often been hurt. I punish it enough. So this is definitely more expensive than a typical bowl of curry, especially here in Singapore. Let's try it out. So this is a really interesting curry place. This place serves something called curry dabal, which originated in the 1500s back when sailors were trying to make their leftover meats last longer by putting it into spice and cooking it, basically trying to extend the expiration date a bit. This is why it's called devil's curry. And that's what I got. And it's a dish from the uh, Serrani community, which is a group of people with mixed Portuguese, Chinese, British, Dutch heritage, and they primarily reside in Malaysia and in Singapore. It's definitely a very small portion of curry, but I see signs everywhere in this restaurant saying how the meat, the ingredients, the rice used, everything is just top-notch ingredients. They say the meat is something that usually costs twice as much as quote-unquote the garden variety. I got the devil curry, spicy. I'll tell you right now, this stuff smells great rice smells incredible too they say they use the best quality rice as well wow this pork is tender cutting into a little bit with my spoon and then ripping into the meat already some of that curry on the rice Oh wow, this is a dish that's gonna give you the feels. I'm getting goosebumps after that first bite. Oh, I thought that was a potato. It's actually just a piece of pork fat. And it's very spicy as well. So this is just a full on bowl of meat. And I'm digging into some of the richer parts of the curry. This is so uniquely delicious. The curry is interesting. It's very rich, very thick, not all that creamy. Plus some sausage in here too. But the flavor is very deep and aromatic and that pairs perfectly with this awesome rice. Mm. The sausage is very good too. I love the cuts of meat they use. That is a fatty piece of pork belly. I'm gonna throw in a little extra fat on that as well. I forgot to mention this. The meat is so tender. This is very, very good. Very unique flavor curry, but extremely delicious. Mm. You can 100% taste the quality of those ingredients. Absolutely exquisite. And the spice is perfect. The spice will make you suffer just a perfect amount where it's not painful, it's just addictive. It's definitely not an inexpensive bowl of curry, but it is definitely a very delicious bowl of curry. Devil's curry. Never knew this existed, but very glad to be able to try it. Also, apparently this recipe came from the owner's grandma. Yeah, it tastes like that. Very welcoming, very comforting dish. place I'm looking for, I think just opened. Oh, look at that. Best ice cream and waffles in the Milky Way. Wow, that's a statement. I think it's here. Yeah, right here. The original pho. Oh, they got a lot of stuff here. Okay, original pho, brisket, beef brisket noodle soup, spring rolls, chicken wings, stir fried gar chili garlic cockles. Haven't had have pho in such a long time. Definitely gonna make a trip to Vietnam at some point while we're here. But until that happens, there's a lot of pho places in Singapore. And this place is both pho for $6.50 Singapore dollars. And I got one with beef and brisket. Oh, I needed that. I needed a good sip of pho broth. I think this is as long as I've gone without having a bowl of pho. And this bowl, white noodles, basil, sprouts. The noodles is nice and chewy. Broth, deliciously light, get amazingly beefy. Also, got some papaya salad with pork and shrimp. Mm. 
nice umami hit from the fish sauce. Perfect to kind of change the flavor profile a little bit. Between sips of pho, stir fried chili cockles. Look at that. And they told me this is fresh. Wow. Plump, juicy little shellfish that gives a nice textual little pop. Good amount of chilies to give it a nice heat without covering up any of that natural sweetness. And the basil gives just such a nice aroma. Most of these are closed still, so I gotta kind of figure out how to open these things up. Mm. And the thing with cockles that sets it apart from clams is that when you cook it briefly, it doesn't open up. So there is more work to eat, but trust me, you will be rewarded for your efforts. Oh, that's a big one. Mm. There's actually a lot of good looking food places around this block. There's one right there that sells chicken rice and duck rice. Unfortunately, they're closed for the day. Oh, also, I kept forgetting that you gotta dip the cockles in that awesome chili sauce they bring you. Mm. Sip up that little juice inside as well. The sauce they give you is a little limey, very spicy. Mm. I just perfect. But this has been very satisfying. These are a must get. So much better than clams. The texture is poppier, it's juicier. They brought over another bowl of pho for me to try. This is the chicken pho. Look at this. Beautiful shredded chicken on top, onions, of course, that gorgeous white noodle on the bottom. The broth looks ever so light and clear. Oh, this is very good. Mmm, it's so light and mild, but the chicken flavor definitely shines through it in this delicious broth. Mmm, mm, try the chicken. Mmm. Chicken is tender, it complements the noodles. My daily eating routine is kind of just hitting out as early as possible, grab an early lunch, then go home a little bit, just escape the heat, come back out for dinner. And today, after eating an all-you-can-eat buffet, like, and all those rice cakes and ramen, feeling pretty full. But then this meal just kind of rejuvenated my appetite. I think it's mainly because I missed pho so much. I really needed this. Drinks are here. This little lychee drink and a <laughs> little test tube. Mm, not overly sweet. It's pretty good. Dessert is a croffle with pistachio ice cream and muscat grape sorbet. There's syrup that you squeeze into the waffle. I haven't had a croffle for a long time as well. Ah, crap, was really good. Flaky, crispy, right out of the toaster. The pistachio ice cream is delicious. And this grape sorbet, this is one of the few times I really like sorbet. It tastes like fresh grapes. Overall, fun little cafe. There's a lot of really cool looking little cafes around Singapore. It's always nice to end the food day with them. Hey guys, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Guys, I've been talking about how awesomely delicious HelloFresh is for many, many years now. I think they were my first sponsor. Of course, when it comes to products I support, especially when it comes to food. I'm not gonna tell you guys something is delicious if it's not. And HelloFresh, I think I've tried upwards of maybe close to 100 recipes at this point. Not a single one I didn't absolutely love. Even when I think I messed up with my cooking a little bit, it still comes out good. And now doing fall, my favorite season. You can experience harvest at home with HelloFresh's newest seasonal recipes packed with the flavors of fall like scallop over butternut squash risotto or balsamic rosemary pork chops. You can also easily customize your meals with Hello Custom. You can swap proteins. You can swap sides. You can upgrade to choice proteins. You can add a protein to veggie meals. It's never been easier to customize the meals your way. Also, another reason I love this, it's just a time saver. I hate going to the grocery store. I always buy too much. I really have no control when I'm in the supermarket. Also, HelloFresh works with your schedule. The plans are flexible. You can change your meal preferences, delivery dates, or change your address. All this is super easy. Just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. And HelloFresh recipes include pre-portioned ingredients. That means there's less prep time for you and less food waste. And most of the HelloFresh meals I cooked, ready in less than 30 minutes. So if you want to give this try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code CHEN65 for 65% off with HelloFresh and free shipping. I really love this meal kit so much. I haven't been able to eat as much of it as I wanted because I've been traveling this year a lot. But if you want to eat delicious food and you want to save a lot of time, give this a try. You won't be disappointed. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.